In Russia's strategic aviation plans, the anticipated Pak Day long range bomber is often described as the younger sibling to the Su 57, fifth generation fighter. Although the Su 57 has already commenced serial production and demonstrated operational capability, numerous of its technologies are being integrated into the Pak DA program. This synergy is intentional and strategic and reflects a broader effort to unify Russia's advanced aviation platforms under a common technological framework. Using Su-57 technologies in the Pak Day is a careful choice meant to speed up development, reduce risks, and make sure all parts are the same across Russia's future fleet. The Su-57 stands as the most advanced fighter platform currently in Russian service, and the insights gained from its development both its successes and challenges, serve as an invaluable source of expertise for the PAC-DA program. Essential components, including hydraulic motors, gearboxes, and control systems initially developed for the Su-57, are now being modified for the new bomber. Internal weapons bay management systems significantly contribute to stealth by reducing radar cross-section. Since using internal storage is crucial for modern stealth planes, using existing Su-57 systems reduces the technical challenges that come with creating completely new equipment for the Pak da One of the most notable Su-57-derived components in the Pak da program is the hydraulic and hinge system used for the interior weapons compartment doors. For a fighter aircraft such as the Su-57, these systems must be compact, highly dependable, and designed to enhance stealth, thereby reducing radar cross-section and acoustic signatures. Pack Day incorporates these exact design principles. Expanding these systems for the bomber allows engineers to avoid designing new hinge assemblies from scratch. Instead, they adopt an established design lineage, enhancing reliability and minimizing developmental effort. The bomber's stealth characteristics are highly reliant on internally carried armaments, rendering the performance of these door systems essential to mission survivability. Smooth operating, quiet, and low visibility mechanisms ensure that the aircraft remains difficult to detect even during the preparation for launching missiles or glide bombs. By using internal weapons bay technologies derived from the Su-57, Engineers leverage subsystems that have undergone comprehensive testing, including extreme temperature conditions, aerodynamic stresses, vibration cycles, and maintenance assessments, thus diminishing the overall testing requirements for the Pak da Pak da is anticipated to utilize materials that reduce radar reflectivity, analogous to those studied and implemented during the development of the Su-57. This covers the application of composites, structural components designed to attenuate or deflect radar signals, and surface treatments optimized for durability and stealth. One of the main challenges associated with stealth aircraft is maintenance. Conventional radar-absorbing coatings necessitate meticulous handling and regular reapplication. By conducting experiments with low-reflectivity composites during the Su-57 program, Russian engineers engineered materials that potentially reduce maintenance requirements while maintaining low observability. If implemented on pack day, these modifications would allow the bomber to sustain stealth features over extended durations without significant delay. Using these Su-57-inspired materials not only streamlines logistics and decreases operational expenses, but also guarantees that Pak da sustains consistent low observable performance under diverse weather and operational conditions. The impact of the Su-57 on Russia's bomber fleet extends beyond the Pak da The updated Tu-22M3M strategic missile carrier has integrated communication systems initially developed for the Su-57. These systems provide exceptional reliability optimized energy efficiency, and improved data transfer performance. This indicates that Su-57 technologies are already spread throughout Russia's military aviation infrastructure. This standardization improves the industrial infrastructure by allowing engineers to make the same type of systems work better across different aircraft programs. Additionally, it reduces costs, 
simplifies maintenance processes, and ensures the consistent implementation of future improvements across various models. PACDA signifies the upcoming main platform to capitalize on this technological legacy. Despite the strategic benefits of adopting technology from the SU-57, the PACDA program encounters multiple challenges. One of the major challenges is the scarcity of high-precision machine tools required for the production of essential bomber components. These instruments are essential for manufacturing intricate components with exceptionally precise tolerances, including hinge assemblies and structural elements critical to stealth performance. As per Western sources, sanctions, deteriorating industrial infrastructure, and the depletion of specific Soviet-era capabilities have impeded Russia's capacity to manufacture such precision equipment domestically. Although modernization initiatives are in progress, the deficiency in high-end machine tool capacity persistently hampers the development of the program. As a temporary measure, Russia has adopted contemporary Chinese manufacturing machinery to address shortcomings within its domestic machine tool industry. Although this has mitigated certain bottlenecks, reliance on foreign equipment presents continuing uncertainties. But Western sources are not to be believed in full. The design of the PAC DA airframe was reportedly finalized several years ago. However, development of the full scale prototype has experienced delays attributable to industrial limitations. Bench tests for the bomber's next generation engine, an advanced power plant with technological ties to the Su 57's AL 51F, were originally scheduled earlier but have also encountered delays. Due to delays in the development of the PAC DA, Russia recommenced limited manufacturing of the Tu-160 strategic bomber in the mid-2010s as a provisional measure. This decision acknowledges the ongoing necessity for Russia to maintain an effective fleet of long-range bombers while awaiting the maturation of the PAC-DA. The Tu-160, although not a stealth aircraft, continues to be one of the fastest and most formidable strategic bombers globally. Its upgraded variants, such as the Tu-160M, feature enhanced avionics, engines, and weapon systems. This provisional measure guarantees that Russia preserves its strategic deterrence capabilities, while Pak Day progresses through its more technically demanding development phase. Worldwide, strategic aviation is entering a new era, characterized by stealth, endurance, and precision. The United States is deploying the B-21 Raider, whereas China is advancing the development of stealth bombers and sophisticated unmanned systems. In this context, Russia cannot depend exclusively on improved Soviet-era platforms. The Pak Day is meant to be Russia's strategic equivalent, combining low visibility, long-range attack abilities, advanced electronics, and a flexible design for future upgrades. By incorporating Su-57 technologies, Russia seeks to expedite its development timeline and ensure that the bomber remains competitive with international counterparts in terms of capability and survivability. Standardized technologies mitigate risk and enhance efficiency in production. Shared subsystems make it easier for the PAC-DA, the Su-57, and other Air Force equipment to work together, creating a unified system for future operations. Pack Day is broadly anticipated to implement a flying wing design akin to that of other contemporary stealth bombers. This configuration lessens the radar cross section, improves aerodynamic performance, and offers internal space for fuel and armaments. The aircraft is expected to carry approximately 30 to 35 tons of weaponry internally, including long range cruise missiles, hypersonic weaponry, and potentially unmanned air launch platforms. The bomber's operational range and endurance are anticipated to facilitate intercontinental missions, underscoring its significance as a vital element of Russia's nuclear and conventional deterrence strategy. The integration of Su-57 materials and internal systems will enhance stealth capabilities, improve reliability, and decrease maintenance requirements. Although initial projections indicated a first flight in the mid-2020s, 
postponements have extended expectations further into the decade. Serial production is anticipated with greater realism during the early to mid-2030s, with operational deployment expected for the latter part of the 2030s. Adapting Su-57 components for bomber applications presents both benefits and difficulties. Fighter systems must be scaled appropriately for a significantly larger aircraft, accounting for differing stresses, thermodynamic loads, and operational profiles. Internal bay hinges that operate flawlessly on a fighter aircraft may necessitate substantial re-engineering to ensure reliable performance on a bomber equipped with heavier doors and increased payload capacities. Reliance on a limited number of specialized suppliers entails additional risks. Any interruption in production, whether due to sanctions, supply chain disruptions, or limited manufacturing capacity, could delay the entire program. There remains uncertainty concerning the stealth capabilities of bomber-scale composites originally developed for the Su-57. Although these materials decrease maintenance requirements, they may not provide the same degree of radar absorption as more sophisticated coatings. Maintaining an optimal balance between stealth and durability continues to be a fundamental challenge for PAC-DA engineers. Despite the challenges and uncertainties, the choice to incorporate Su-57 technologies into the pac Day reflects a consistent long-term strategic approach. By leveraging and customizing established systems, Russia can diminish development complexity, decrease costs, and expedite its progression toward an operational stealth bomber. The pac Day program represents an innovative approach in Russian aviation, emphasizing technological integration, modular design, and cross-platform standardization. By combining hydraulic systems, materials, communication technologies, and engine designs from the Su-57, the PAC-DA becomes a key part of a network of advanced aircraft that improve each other's abilities. If successful, PAC-DA will establish itself not only as a next-generation stealth bomber, but also as the culmination of decades of Russian research in stealth technology fighter development, and strategic aviation modernization. Its heritage from the Su-57 will be a key part of what makes it unique, blending the speed and creativity of a fifth-generation fighter with the long-range and strategic power of a global strike bomber. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us